Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to do muzzle flash. This is a really cool and easy effect. And you know, a lot of other YouTubers might be saying, oh, download this effects package. And though they have really good, you know, tutorials, why do you want to have to pay money to get effects? So basically what I'm going to do is at the end of the video, I'm actually going to put muzzle flashes with smoke videos that you can extract from this video. Put it through After Effects. Uh, you know, you don't only have to use After Effects. This effect can be done in Sony Vegas, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express. can be done in iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. But if you really want a good effect, you're going to need to have some of these programs well, anyway. Uh, in action movies, a lot of the gun flashes you'll see may be little to no recoil. If you have too little recoil, it doesn't look real enough. But if you put too much, it looks too real. All action movies should have a general amount of just it's more of a just like a little flinch up. So what it should look is kind of something like... Okay. Now, uh, from the front, the same, I just... Okay. And, uh, you, if you want, just over the shoulder. Like so. Okay, so here we have our compilation right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right to the point where you see, you know, the gun's starting to blow back. So I'll just grab my uh, flash, which I'm going to use flash 6. And uh, I'm just going to put it you know, right on there. So I'm going to just uh, find it so I can scrub it just to the point where uh, there's only one flash. Because it kind of doubles the frames. So the flash itself, you know, only need one frame. So I'm saying that there, what you want to do is you actually want to go to blending mode and then just go add. And why you do that is because it's really bright. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to bring it down right to the right place and then actually kind of make it a little bit taller so you know it's kind of rounded you know you don't want your muzzle flash to be too long so just put it at the end there and uh just you know make it perfect really. you want just you know quite big you want to have you know interaction you don't want it to be too small so go right just after as you can see the smoke is kind of a bit orangey so what you want to just go is effects color correction tint that will make it instantly white, so you want the smoke to be more white, but you don't want the flare to be white, so remember, edit and split layer right afterwards. Okay. That's looking good scrubbing through it, so uh, what I'm going to do now is, here, as you can see I've already pre comped this one, but I just need to put it right in the right place, and this, this one actually has the smoke up, it's already white. Yeah, that looks good. I'm actually going to do is, uh, right now I'm just going to bring it to the point. I'm actually going to find the frame just before it's actually shot. I'm just, you know, I'm going to have to go up a little bit. And just before it flicks up, right? Okay, so one frame before here. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab a shot front. Shot front one. And uh, I'm going to bring it right here. And again, make the flare itself only one frame instead of two. So, um, go again, blending mode, add, and uh, then I'm just going to kind of shape it until it's just about small enough. Don't want too big, you know, just play with it a little until you think, until you think you have it right enough. So, uh, as you can see, yeah, that's nice. And the smoke itself is kind of white anyway, already. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Anyway, what you want to do is, uh, for this one, it's a little bit more complicated. You actually want to take a little bit out and feather. So go right to the point where it blows back kind of from the side. You want to do a side muzzle flash. So grab that, it's called Rick Dial. And then so you just want to grab it. And bring it right again. And again, scrub it down to uh, where the flash that we want. It's going to be difficult. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Again, just make it small, you know, just kind of get it into the perfect place. You can see the little streams coming out, and uh, right now, blending mode add, so uh, first flip it around, get it uh, just about right. Okay, put it right there, but get it smaller, you don't want it to be too big. Okay. And 
right there should be good, really. Okay. And just kind of make a little mask using the pen tool. About five, you know, angles. So, um, once you do that, go to effects, mask, and subtract. Okay. And, okay, as you can see, now just, I can't really see it right now, but go to feather, and just bring the feathering up, so it's kind of like a little blurred around the gun. There, but again, you know, you're gonna have to edit, split layer, and uh, just make the smoke itself, you know, tint it, and make it white again. That's really all you have to do. And yeah, just bring it right to the perfect point. Scrubbing through, yeah, it looks really good. You kind of want to have, you don't want it to be going over your footage. Yeah, that's basically all you have to do for this tutorial. Um, yeah, just have it in the right place. Uh, basically, the few things you need to know before shooting with guns, uh, especially if you're in Canada like me. First of all, try to do as much indoor shots as you can. While doing indoor shots, get a lot of lighting though, so it looks good. Uh, while doing an outdoor shot, you really should tell your neighbors, though, because trust me, you will get the cops called on you if you don't. They think you guys are just shooting around with guns. Uh, if you're doing it maybe some area like a park or a forest, notify the police first before you do it. And uh, if you have an area, you know, like a garage or something, just make sure, like, the, the residents who are there know you're doing it. Like, if you know the people, just let them, like, tell the landlord or something. Uh, we will have a lot of new videos coming out. We have new videos. You know, coming out. I don't want to give it away. Um, and we have a new Black Ops series coming out too. So uh, all that stuff will be coming out generally in the next two, three weeks. But uh, until then, we have Jews making movies. We'll have a whole bunch of new tutorials coming out, like first person shooter shots, a ground jump that I did. And uh, it'll be sweet. So check it out.